Hello, my name is Dr. Ad Shaker and I'm one of the dermatology consultants in SWB HNHS Trust. Uh, today I want to share with you some information about how we developed our new teledermatology service model during the COVID pandemic. And we had to do it uh, to obviously reduce the number of face-to-face -face consultations and also ensure that patients had safe and effective care pathways. So this was our two-week teledermatology service for skin cancer. So what is teledermatology? So teledermatology essentially is doing an assessment as a specialist with some photographs available and also a good clinical history. Uh, there are a number of models which are already existing across the nation and uh, the common models are a triage model. There's also a full teledermatology model which can replace face-to-face uh, -face consultations. And then there's an intermediate pathway which actually merges both of these uh, models. Uh, teledermatology is a very progressive evolving field and quality standards have been issued for teledermatology by the British Association of Dermatologists um, uh, uh, group and this was in 2013. So as part of introducing this new model we also had to make sure that we met all the quality standards for this model. I'm Rupali Patel, I'm one of the specialist dermatology registrars at SWBH. During the pandemic, in order to reduce our face-to-face -face consultations, we implemented a intermediate teledermatology model. And this involved patients sending in photographs of their skin lesions. At a telephone consultation, we reviewed these images along with a history from the patient and a completed GP referral pro forma. In order to assess this model, we looked at outcomes for 155 patients over four weeks. We did face a number of challenges. Firstly, 58% of our patients didn't manage to send us photographs before their initial consultation. And unfortunately, this meant they had to be rebooked often several times. This was mostly due to communication problems in getting through to the patient. And in a minority of patients, they struggled to use technology to actually take the photos and email them in. Secondly, the quality of the photos was not always adequate and in 36% of cases our clinicians struggled to make a differential diagnosis. We did provide instructions to patients on how to take the photographs but only 21% of the photographs included a measurement guide. As for the pigmented lesions, we do require dermoscopic images and we didn't have these available. Dermoscopy is microscopy of a skin lesion and is very useful in, in distinguishing malignant lesions such as melanoma from benign pigmented lesions. And unfortunately, we did not have those images available. So those patients still required an in-person review. What did we learn from this um, new experience? Uh, we obviously had to put uh, this service together in a very short span of time. And from uh, analysing these 155 patients, we did have some good positive outcomes. So the most positive outcome was our discharge rate. We found that we were able to discharge at least 20% of these patients um, after the telephone consultation with their photographs provided. For a new service put together in a very short span of time, this was actually quite a good positive outcome and is comparable with national uh, standards and rates um, for the other teledermatology services which do exist. The other thing we found was we had to book over a third of patients back for face-to-face -face consultations. This again was because of all the technical and other challenges we did have and these will need to be addressed uh, for the future. And um, again over a third of the patients we were able to actually book them in directly for biopsies and procedures based on the teleconsultation. This means it avoided a further face-to-face -face consultation. So there are a number of positive outcomes from this and these we could scale up in our future models. We found that the concordance between the final diagnosis and the uh, pre biopsy diagnosis was just over 40%. This is low and we would ideally like this to be higher for a effective teledermatology service. So from what we have learned, what we're hoping to do is to scale this into a much more safe and effective uh, full teledermatology model.
So for a full teledermatology model, we would like to integrate our medical illustration department so that the quality of our images are good and technically accurate. We hope that uh, we'll be able to train our photographers for this. And also, the service will only be safe and effective through integrated care. So we have to work closely with our GP colleagues and also with our patients and run effectively and delivered effectively. What we hope is that the positive outcomes will increase. It will reduce the number of face-to-face -face consultations. Patients can be seen quicker and also receive more rapid diagnosis. Overall, we hope that patient experience uh, is more positive um, and that um, all the services will benefit um, from this. It's also uh, part of the GERFT uh, program uh, that teledermatology fits in very nicely, so getting it right uh, first time for patients.